Hello and welcome back to the course on deep learning. I hope you're tracking along with these intuition tutorials just fine and that you had a chance to play around with everything we've learned so far. And today we're talking about flattening and the good news is that this is a very simple step and this tutorial is going to be very quick and then we'll be able to move on to the next interesting things. All right, so we so far we've got the pooled layer, uh, pooled feature map, and that is after we apply uh, the convolution operation to our image, and then we apply pooling to uh, the result of the convolution or to the convolved image. And so what are we going to do with this pooled feature map? Well, we're going to take it and we're going to flatten it into a column. Uh, so basically just take the numbers row by row and put them into this one long column. And the reason for that is because we want to later input this into an artificial neural network for further processing. So this is what it looks like when you have many pooling layers or you have the pooling layers with many uh, pooled feature maps and then you flatten them so you put them into this one long column sequentially one after the other and you get one huge uh, vector of inputs for an artificial neural network. And so to sum all of this up, we've got an input image, we apply a convolution layer, and let's not forget the uh, ReLU or rectified, uh, rectified linear units function that we apply after the convolution layer as well. And then we apply pooling, and then we flatten everything into um, a long vector, which will be our input layer for an artificial neural network. And exactly how that works, we'll find out in the next tutorial. Hope you enjoyed today's session, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, enjoy deep learning.